Today, building off our hearing on the ongoing Uyghur genocide, the Select Committee on the CCP launched a bipartisan investigation into corporate complicity in Uyghur forced labor. This morning, Nike and Adidas received letters signed by myself and Ranking Member Raja Krishnamurthy demanding answers about their potential continued involvement in forced labor in China. Here's what forced labor might look like. Imagine you're a young woman. A government official shows up at your home. You're told you'll be taking part in a new anti-poverty program sent hundreds of miles away from your friends and family to work in a factory. And you know you don't have a choice. Everyone's heard about the concentration camps popping up all over your homeland. There are whispers that women are tortured, raped, forcibly sterilized, and worse. So what else can you do but go? You get to the factory, you aren't allowed to pray or read the Quran, you're segregated from other workers, you're given a curfew, you're not allowed to go home freely. And every day at the factory, what do you see over and over again? A Nike swoosh. In a 2020 expose of the Qindao Taiwan factory, the Washington Post reported that this was the reality for Uyghur workers at a Nike supplier that has made over 8 million Nike shoes. We're concerned Nike and Adidas aren't doing enough to implement the bipartisan Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. In fact, Nike, along with Apple, Coca-Cola, and others, spent lavishly on lobbying to water down the bill. We need answers. We need to end American support for forced labor. We need to just do it.